or tech, what we call text neck from looking down on our phones oh, yeah. and computer. <laughs> that can cause uh, interference on the nerve from the bone misalignment from this posture, uh, which then affects the heart and lungs. So that's the big picture I want people to understand. Spine controls nerve, nerve controls organ, and get to the root cause, move the bone off the nerve and allow the body to heal and function. I create a plan. Uh, how do we restore the integrity of the structure, get the curves where they need to be? How do we heal the disc space as much as possible? How do we stop arthritic spurs from getting to the next phase? So that's what it, it looks like in my office in corrective care and why I look at spine for overall health. Welcome back, everybody, to the Healthy Habit Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Dayan, here at Healthy Habit Medical Center. And today, it's our first time having her on the podcast, but we've talked to her on, on Radio Land before we switch to this new platform. Today, we're talking with Dr. Roxanne Zamora, doctor of chiropractic medicine, who's been practicing in North Phoenix at the same location for the last 14 years, going on two decades here. Dr. Zamora provides chiropractic corrective care and car accident care for all ages. Dr. Zamora, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. I wanted to just say too how much I love how you guys have changed. The store is beautiful. Your practice is beautiful. Um, Thank you. Great job for the community and helping them in their wellness too. Thanks for saying that, Dr. Zamora. So uh, we set the stage there with the field, the, chiro the field of chiropractic medicine. You're still going strong here 14 years later. What keeps you going in, in the world of chiropractic medicine? You know, my mission is to help people be well. It's like you guys as well. Um, when people think of chiropractic, they only think of, oh, I got a bad back or bad neck. Right. They don't realize that you know, I love that you have the ANS poster in the background yeah. <laughs> because that's important. Um, the nervous system supplies every organ for our heart to beat, our lungs to breathe, arms, legs to move. Um, you have to protect the nervous system because it's helping function every organ. And then what houses and protects the nervous system are the vertebrae. So a vertebrae out of place, let's say in your neck, um, yeah. protect what we call text neck from looking down on our phones oh, yeah. and computer <laughs> that can cause uh, interference on the nerve from the bone misalignment from this posture, uh, which then affects the heart and lungs. So that's the big picture I want people to understand. Spine controls nerve, nerve controls organ, and get to the root cause, move the bone off the nerve and allow the body to heal and function. I'm glad you pointed that out because imagine all the nerves, they literally come out of that, that spinal cord. And imagine if there's a, yeah. if the, the foramen's too narrowed and then boom, you go yes. see Dr. Zamora and now that foramen's bigger. Wouldn't the nerve yeah. be able to kind of breathe better? Absolutely. Research says a feather's weight of pressure on a nerve. Right. So just a feather's weight, right? on a nerve decreases the function of the organ by 50%. So if the yeah. vertebrae is even slightly misaligned, which we would call subluxation, um, even if it's subluxated just by a feather's weight, the heart's decreasing by 50%, which then leads to heart disease. If it's in the middle of the back, it's going to the, uh, the lungs um, and the, the gallbladder, liver, stomach, then you get digestive issues, right? So my goal is I start with x-rays and I see how does the structure look? Because when we look at that poster, you see there's a curve in the neck, the middle back and the low back. Right. So I look and I see where is that curve, uh, measure that, analyze it. And then I look at what phase of degeneration because there's three phases of degeneration. So let's say the bone in the middle of your neck is misaligned it's going to affect your thyroid. I mean, that's just a hundred percent. And that's wow. page four of Gray's anatomy, uh, that a feather's weight of pressure on a nerve will interfere with the function of the 
the nervous system and the, uh, the organ. So I have to move the bone off the vertebrae, again, we'll use the neck, so that the heart and lungs are stronger. Um, and if you ever have any numbness or tingling in your hands, then for sure we know that the vertebrae in the neck are misaligned, causing pressure on the nerve, the disc to degenerate, um, and health problems develop. So yeah, I like to start with x-rays always. We do x-rays in-house. Um, I have a digital x-ray which is a curse and a blessing at the same time. <laughs> but I can't do them here uh, because I do I want to see where are the curves, what phase of degeneration. Uh, phase one is you lose the curve. Oh, okay. That's when it starts having aches and pains. Phase two is now the disc starts to degenerate. So degenerative disc disease, arthritic spurs develop, uh, osteophytes. Now people are starting to have more constant aches and pains. Like it's mm. not going away as quick as it used to, or it's the person who's like, all I did was pick up a pen and now my back right. hurts or my neck hurts. And it wasn't just that mere fact of that action. It had been degenerating for a while and it got to the point where it pushed on the cord, on the spinal cord and the nerve. And then phase three is where it starts fused together, herniated disc, degenerative disc disease to the next level, the vertebrae start fusing. Um, and now people are having much more chronic health problems and a lot more pain. Um, and since I do corrective care, that's why I start with x-rays. What phase of degeneration are they in? And I put a, create a treatment plan. How do we correct that, right? So my office is in a typical where you're, you get one or two adjustments and you're done, I create a plan. Uh, how do we restore the integrity of the structure, get the curves where they need to be? How do we heal the disc space as much as possible? How do we stop arthritic spurs from getting to the next phase? So that's what it, it looks like in my office in corrective care and why I look at spine for overall health. I'm really glad you mentioned the thyroid. I mean, we see hypothyroidism, it's all the time. I mean, everybody has suboptimal thyroid health now. It's yeah. called like subclinical hypothyroidism because it looks good on paper, but they're having all the symptoms. Yeah. So that's maybe the first time ever somebody's mentioned the benefit, the potential connection with chiropractic and thyroid. I mean, that's, that's yeah. tweet worthy. Twitter's my favorite social media platform, Dr. Zamora. So that would be a good little tweet chiropractic medicine is an underutilized tool for hypothyroidism potentially. Have you seen cases of that over the last 14 years where thyroid health has improved? Yes, absolutely. And I always know 100% if they have thyroid issues, like their C3 or C4 in the middle of the neck are going to be misaligned. Okay. Um, okay. I've had patients, it's interesting, I have a big jar here. Um, because I would have patients come in and they're like, guess what? I don't need my thyroid medication anymore since I've been getting adjusted. I see it a lot. And so we started collecting these empty medicine bottles um, wow. as a testimony for people. I've had people get off statins once they're under care. Because this is a great study is people under chiropractic care reduce their pharmaceutical drug costs by 85%. I mean, that's huge right there. So yeah. part of my goal is to help people get off drugs. Uh, because if you can, if the body can start healing itself, right, by me removing the interference, it will. We just have to allow it to then um, be corrected, allow yeah. the nervous system to flow. So, yeah. That's unbelievable. Is it, it mostly also a, helps with yeah. sleep. Uh, with what? Uh, with sleep. Okay. Sleep, headaches, digestion, people don't always think about uh, how the, your sleep is affected. Um, a lot of sleep is, if this very first bone here, the atlas, if you lose the curve and the atlas pulls up, it literally pulls the brain stem down. Then the brain stem is on a constant overload and it can't heal and relax. So problems like ADD, ADHD, um, headaches, insomnia, it can be helped by adjusting the cervical spine in your neck. So. And you're, you're nailing like 
nine of the top 10 conditions right now that we're seeing in, in the United States, in North America, really, with th yeah. hypothyroidism, anxiety, mm -hmm. depression, sleep issues, and yeah. mental health issues in general, depression. And what all those things have gone up in the last 50 years. And so yeah. have cell phone use and people working on the keyboard and on their laptop with that hunched mm -hmm. posture. So there's no way that's yeah. just a coincidence that that's right. at least part of it. It's not the only cause of those issues. Right. But that's but gotta a be a picture. huge player, our posture. Yeah. And you know what's interesting wow. um about myself too? I started my career as a psychotherapist um in the mental health field. And when I first started, lithium is was pretty much what we would get. And I had severe people, uh my patients had schizophrenia. Um, and they had been in a forensic hospital because they had typically murdered somebody and I was their therapist. Um, and we started with lithium. But then when Prozac came out, I was like, oh, great. You know, because I very medically modeled then. Um, I was like, oh, Prozac's going to be the answer to everything, <laughs> right? But then I started seeing my patients who could function um, once I went to an inpatient, outpatient setting. Yeah. And had uh, still chronic uh, people with chronic mental health uh, concerns. I saw Prozac making them sick. Mental health was deteriorating. And then I was like, I think something's going on with Prozac, right? I started questioning it because people who can function outside of the hospital were not able to and were hospitalized. Um, and then I saw Effexor come out and Lexapro. And I was like, every new drug is making it worse for my patients. So I started questioning the validity of the medications, like these drugs people were getting for their, their mental health. Um, and then finally, I I was like, God, I have to do something different. I Because I had told a patient, if you don't take your meds, you aren't getting out of the hospital. And I was like, okay, it's no longer about psychology. It's about pharmacology. If your only answer is meds, or you're going to be here forever. It was just metting them into compliancy. So I understand now the connection between the ba the brain and body. If there's interference, of course, the you're going to have some issues. Not that I'm saying that for people who have mental illness don't need medication, but there's also other factors you can consider. Um, so in 2000, I went back to school because I no longer resonated with that. Um, Kind of thinking and I was like in 2000 I went back to chiropractic college and I've been doing it since so now I look at the body as a whole what's causing some of the disconnects for people and then how do we remove the interference and allow the, the nervous system to do its job so amazing amazing I can tell you just love the field you're in I feel it I feel that I love it energy. yeah yeah, we can all tell that. That's for sure. Dr. Zamora, <laughs> yeah. what, big on my radar. I've been playing basketball since 1995, 96, since I was like five years old. And I've, it's big on my radar the last probably two to three weeks is foot health. And because when I walk, my feet flatten. Like if I just yeah. raise them up, it looks like it has a good arch. But as I walk, they overly pronate. So I've been yeah. dealing with ankle sprains and foot issues and knee pain and low back pain and shin splints my whole career. Do you do a lot of like hips and under work? Absolutely. And, you know, it's interesting you say that because uh, people will come in, they'll say, oh, my foot or my knee. But you have to start at the pelvis. Okay. Right. I take the x-ray and see is the pelvis level. Um you know, people will have one sh leg shorter and it's typically not congenital. They're not born with one leg oh. shorter is when the pelvis rotates, it pulls the hip up. Right. And so one leg is going to be shorter. Well, then it's going to affect the ankles and knees. Right. Because it it's going to flow down. Like if your posture is off, so people will come in for knee pain or ankle pain, but really we have to level out the pelvis so i start with getting x-rays of the low back and the hips um and then how do we correct that so that they're a little more even got it so because why then does... also for yeah. men i'll have to tell you for men it affects if your pelvis is off or your low back 
not only is it painful, but it starts causing um, ED issues for men. Oh, man. It causes prostate issues for women. It can cause uh, problems with infertility, uh, problems with their menstruation. Yeah. So the low back is definitely, if you have knee issues, hip issues, you want to get low back checked. So Dr. Zamora, do you accept insurance mostly patients or is it mostly private medicine, cash, pay? How do you, yeah, how does that work? We don't accept insurance um, because a couple of reasons. Okay. One, insurance will mandate what we're allowed to do and what yeah. we're not. You have to beg them. And it, it, yeah. yeah. And and it's the system is broken, right? Um, we have a system that 70% of people in the U.S. are on one medication, Mm. One prescribed medication, seventy percent of the people. We're seventy-five. We take seventy-five percent of the world's medication, or five percent of the population. So our system isn't working. Uh, we have to do something different. That's why I'm passionate about it, and you as well. We see people are drugged out of their mind. They need to do something different. We have to say, how do we correct this, right? How do we do our part to change the system? Incredible. Can you give us the name of your practice so we can give it yeah. there? And we'll link that below 100%. Yeah, it's Imagine Wellness Chiropractic Center. Perfect. And that's in North right. Phoenix for the last 14 years, folks. I mean, that's and she's yeah. taken the time to come here on our Healthy Habit podcast. Yeah. And she's been on and the that's radio That's why we show. don't take insurance, because I think I got away from your question, uh, because... That's the system that doesn't work. And we're trying to be outside of that system. And usually it's more cost effective for our patients oh, wow. um, if we don't take insurance because we can offer them a discount that we couldn't if we were in that work. We would have to be, um, you know, abide by if they say your visit is two hundred dollars, we have to charge two hundred dollars. If we're out of network, we can say, hey, we can offer a discount. Got it. So, okay. So, kind of so what would be your favorite chiropractic kind of supplements that you've been using for 14 years? I'm sure you've recommended maybe, I don't know, a turmeric or ginger yeah. or yeah, uh, I love MSM, turmeric. hyaluronic acid. I want to hear your, your yeah. favorite supplements. Some of my favorites are um, Standard Process. Uh, they've been around since 1929 in the U.S. Like they're the oldest U.S. company, uh, supplement company. Um, Dr. Royal Lee started in 1929. They yeah. grow all their own products on their farm in Wisconsin. And they look what, how much wow. we love our work. They love it. I went to a webinar or a seminar and the first 30 minutes they talked about the soil. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. you love what you do. <laughs> yes. If that's how you're starting so, to talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I love standard process, but I use other ones. Um, but I love Boswellia is great for aches and pains. Um, you would want to take it with fats. So if you drink coconut oil in your coffee or tea, um, or you take omegas, you'd want to take Boswellia with an omega or some kind of fat. Um, I love Ligaplex 1 and 2 from Standard Process. Ligaplex 1, if you um, are gluten sensitive, because it's gluten free, Ligaplex 2 is it, but I love those products. I love turmeric for sure. Yeah. I put it literally in almost every. Right. So those are my big ones. Um, and yeah. And vitamin D. Vitamin D is huge, you know. And vitamin D. Um, yeah. So again, we have the full standard process line right here. can be reduced by 50%. Say that one again. Oh, yeah. I think we're. So I think my network is unstable. <laughs> we lost you there. I said a vitamin D. I love vitamin D because there's a lot. Yeah, vitamin D can um, help reduce cancer by fifty percent. Yeah, it just shows how important that is. Unbelievable. Okay, we're losing. Too. There we go. It looks like we got you back there. Okay, perfect. So that was the standard process line. We had Ligaplex one and two. Dr. Zamora touched on Boswellia, turmeric, vitamin D, some options there to help start strengthening the, the nerves and joints and, and spinal cord, right? The, it's just so important because the nerves, they emanate right out of that spinal cord and supply all these end organs. And remember, all of our organs, they need the nerve supply to work, 
right? So if they're not getting the proper nerve supply, what's going to happen to those organs? They're not going to be performing as optimally. Let's see. We might have lost Dr. Zamora there. All right. looks like we lost Dr. Zamora there. She was having some internet difficulties there at her office. But I just want to thank you, Dr. Roxanne Zamora, Doctor of Chiropractic Medicine, for coming on the Healthy Habit Podcast today. We'll be spreading the, the word on to our patients and our, our listeners here. We'll put the description in the in the box below this video. Thank you for taking the time again, Dr. Zamora, and we really appreciate you coming on. And we're going to get Dr. Zamora back here on the podcast. We'll make it happen. Again, North Phoenix, practicing up there for the last 14 years. We're going to link her uh, address below to the Her Medical Center. Thank you again, Dr. Zamora, for taking the time to come on the show. <laughs>